Well, hey everyone, in the mail the other day, we got a promotional calendar for Steel Heights Baptist Church. It's for 2023. But you know, in the life uh, of our church, no other month involves uh, as much change as September. Students return to school, summer holidays are completed. Uh, for the farming folks, harvest begins and church ministries start up again. Now, one of the blessings and challenges of being involved in an active church is there's just so many great ministries to schedule, to promote, and to find volunteers to serve at. Well, three weeks ago, we hosted a ministry fair here at the church to highlight the various ministries and their leaders so people can find out more about areas to serve in at Still Heights and, and what is the work that we're doing here. Well, one of the core characteristics of a Christian is service to Christ and his church. Paul reminds us of this in Philippians 2.7 uh, when he wrote that Jesus made himself nothing, taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. Being uh, born in the likeness of men and taking on the form of a servant. And Jesus modeled this servant-hearted attitude in so many ways. He revealed the true nature of servanthood at the Last Supper when he washed the disciples' feet. And he said to the disciples seated at the table, I am, I am among you as one who serves. And then again in Galatians 5.13, we read about uh, service to Christ. Um, Paul says, for you were called to freedom. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love, serve one another. And as we serve one another, we serve Christ. By serving, we honor Christ, we bless one another, and, and we find a deeper sense of, of purpose and meaning in our lives. Well, there's this trend in society uh, right now and just kind of started this summer, maybe earlier in the spring, and, and, and there's this term being thrown around, it's called quiet quitting, quiet quitting. And it refers to not overworking yourself or doing extra things that you won't get compensated for. You're not an underachiever, but you're not an overachiever. It's, it's doing the task involved with your assigned role, no more, no less, simply put, it's doing your job without your job taking over your entire life. You certainly do not go the extra mile. Well, the response to this is mixed because no one, or sorry, on one hand, it sounds like it's a wise and sustainable approach to one's vocation. Yet on, another, on the other hand, it sounds like a form of even laziness or self-entitlement. When it comes to the Christian context of service, uh, quiet quitting, th there might be some merit in the statement because it implies that you find your area of service and you stick to what God has called you to. However, quiet quitting can easily become a form of selfishness. You find yourself saying things like, hey, I've been there, done that, or I don't have time to volunteer at the church. I have other commitments elsewhere. Well, servanthood is part of stewardship, stewardship of our lives. And as stewards, we will give an account to the Lord for a service to Him um, over the duration of a lifetime. Yes, through the years, our capacities for service change, uh, but from childhood to our senior years, the Lord calls us to serve as He provides the strength and the direction so my hope for Still Heights is that we don't become a church of quiet quitters who always do the minimum. For he who sows sparingly will reap sparingly, the Bible says. Folks, we don't serve a God who gives sparingly. He gave us his one and only Son, and Christ gave his life for us in love and service. The model for service we're looking for at Still Heights is, is to serve in your area of giftedness. Serve in love and serve for God's glory and with passion and, and with a growing competence that, that you're becoming better at your areas of service. And then your service to Christ and His church will be sustainable and fruitful. 
Well, we're filming my video update in the nursery, and one of the, the biggest needs right now is we're still looking for teachers and assistants for Sunday morning power up, which includes nursery. Um, and it also, we're also looking for uh, some female youth leaders for Wednesday night. We're looking for teachers for the Arise uh, Bible Club for children. And there are many other opportunities for service areas on Sunday mornings and during the week. So I just, I want to encourage you to talk to the pastors and the ministry leaders to find out more about their various, uh, more about the various ministries that are offered here at Still Heights get informed about what God's doing at Still Heights and then check out our website as well and once you get informed pray about what service commitment God is calling you to trust him for this ministry year and then come and try it out you know check it out maybe that particular ministry wasn't the right one but in the midst of trying you find out the one that is the right fit for you so get signed up let's get serving still heights let's let's shake off that those covid kind of hibernation cobwebs and let's get serving christ and his church and see what god will do through us Paul tells us in Ephesians 4.16 that we're the body of Christ. We're held together in unity and we grow up in love as each part does its work. Folks, now is not the time to quit or become apathetic. We have a partnership together in Christ and his gospel. So let's keep reaching out to people in the church and outside the church. Let's not become weary in doing good for at the proper time we'll reap a harvest if we don't give up and let's take every opportunity to keep doing good to all people especially to our brothers and sisters uh, who are part of the family of believers here at still heights well god bless you still heights i look forward to joining you for worship this sunday here on site or online and may the peace of christ be with you and your families. Bye for now.